Hey y'all, welcome to week two of my 52 weeks of tutorials. Today we are going to be learning how to do a provisional cast on uh, and we're going to do that provisional cast on directly onto our project needle using a crochet hook. The provisional cast on is my personal favorite cast on and that's because it's so versatile. A provisional cast on will keep your cast on stitches active. And there's a few reasons why you might want your cast on stitches to remain active stitches. The first example that comes to mind is if you are making a cowl such as Coastal Confessions, where you're going to graft the uh, beginning and the end of your cowl together to um, make a double thick cowl or a Mobius cowl, um, you're gonna want those first cast on stitches to be active stitches. So that's the first example of where you might use a provisional cast on. Another reason why you might use a provisional cast on is if you want to pick up those cast on stitches and work them in the other direction. Um, that's what afterglow, all of the afterglow tops do. You start with a provisional cast on, you work your projects up, and then you put your project back on the needles at that original cast on edge, and then you work the peplum or whatever version you're doing, you work those stitches downwards then. Another example of when you may use a provisional cast on is when you're making a scarf where um, you first make one half of the scarf and then you pick up those provisional cast on stitches and then you work the scarf, the second half of the scarf in the other direction. All right, so to do a provisional cast on, you are going to need your project needle. You're gonna need scrap yarn. I like, um, this is Knit Picks Shine Sport. Uh, I love how slippy it is. It's a Pima cotton. And so this is what I typically use if I have to do a provisional cast on. And you're also going to need a crochet hook. So to get started, you're going to take some of your scrap yarn. Once you've loosened up some of that scrap yarn, you're going to go ahead and put a slip knot into your yarn and you're going to go ahead and put that slip knot on your crochet hook and tighten it. Now you're going to pick up your project needle and you're going to hold it parallel to your crochet hook with your working yarn going underneath your project needle. Now I'm going to grab my working yarn and I'm gonna anchor it on my pinky and I'm gonna thread it up and over my index. Then I'm going to take my ring finger and my thumb and hold my project needle. And then I'm gonna hold my crochet hook in my right hand as I normally would. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take your crochet hook and you're going to cross it over the top of your project needle so that it's perpendicular and you're going to bring your working yarn over top that crochet hook and you're going to pull it through that first chain. When you finish your working yarn is going to be over top your knitting needle. To make another stitch, you're going to have to bring it between your crochet hook and your project needle and to the back again. Then to make another stitch, you're going to cross over top, hook your yarn, and pull it through the chain. Move your working yarn behind your project needle. Cross over, hook your yarn, 
pull through the chain. Move your working yarn behind your project needle. Cross over, hook your yarn, pull it through the chain, move your working yarn behind your project needle. You continue on in this fashion until you have cast on the correct number of stitches. I'm casting on for my uh, Darmody Galentine's Day project. So I have 197 stitches to cast on. So I will see you on the other side. Once you've finished casting on your number of stitches, I'm just going to pull my yarn through and pull tight. I'm going to snip my yarn. And now I'm going to take that tail of yarn and I'm going to go ahead and tie a knot in it because that's going to let me know that this is the side that I need to start on when I am removing my provisional cast on. From here, you're ready to grab your working yarn, your main color of your working yarn, whatever that may be, and start knitting these stitches. And you're just going to knit them as the pattern calls for. And that is how you do a provisional cast on. All right, y'all, that's it. That's how you do a provisional cast on. If you found this tutorial helpful, subscribe to my email list to receive all 52 weeks of tutorials direct to your inbox. And don't forget, follow the marvelous Mrs. Maker on Instagram, share your favorite tutorials with your knitting besties, and save this tutorial for future reference. Thanks, y'all. Can't wait to see you next week.